So, uh, recaps. We need recaps of stuff that happened during your last excursion. Yeah, I think I got this one, guys. So... Yeah, I have inspiration, so go for it. Cool. Um, we awoke in the uh, offshoot camp of our Scutum allies, which is not an oxymoronic term, and Zephyr and his men led us to the uh, led right up to the temple into a side entrance where we could enter unnoticed. Uh, once we got in, uh, Zephyr split from the main from us the main group. Uh, Zephyr and his men ran, uh, ran off as a distraction, making noise and challenging the guards there, drawing the brunt of their attention while we snuck in. We wandered around the palace a bit. Finding some scutum uh, opposition, particularly at a trash can, um, mm-hmm. but nevertheless endured because we have the might of right on our side. <clears throat> Go, Zelenia. Long may she reign. Um, and uh, so let's see, we, no, uh, more notably, we came up, t- we, we found a sort of Oh, uh, oh, oh! Zephyr informed us that we had to get three keys in order to access the entrance to the queen's chambers. Uh, we had to fight, um, like a big kind of scutum captain guy, get past a um war world war, 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 some big beastie thing, and fight. Uh, two assassins, <clears throat> and towards the end of our venture adventures, we, after um, heading off some good forces, gonna go flank Zephyr. We uh, we came and was like we uh, entered into combat with the uh, with the assassins. And hello, keep going. You're doing great. Cool, thank you. We entered into combat with with the assassins. It was a mighty battle as they could disappear, but we could like but we like but we nevertheless endured. And oh, now we have now we have one key, only two to go. Okay. Uh yeah, everything's good except uh you got his name wrong. <laughs> was it ever? Vesper. Okay. Yeah, I think everything. Uh, else, that's fine. Everything else is good. Um, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And... I love the Lord of the Rings music here. <laughs> I played it too late. Damn it. No, it's mm. okay. Especially because I'm going to be mm. changing it right now anyway. Uh... <laughs> it's kind of curious. Like, huh? This is different than last week's music. Apparently, we're not in a military base. We're in the Shire. No, and now we're back. Now we're in this the- music is very cool. Is this more um, Xenoblade music? This is near Automata. Okay, so different. Okay. Yeah, I've basically half of my music is Xenoblade Two, and half of it is near Automata, at least so far, with a few exceptions. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Anyway, so yeah, and I believe right where you left off is you had sort of interrogated, sort of some sort of lowly intern equivalent person, yeah. <laughs> and figured out that the big guy was in the northwest, I believe, was what it was mm-hmm. uh, figured out. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so, uh, oh, you also know that up to the north of you, there's a hallway, and along the hallway, there are various paths and stuff, uh, well, no, there's various sort of chambers that seem to hold various Wormiers. Um, and there is a room kind of in the far back of that hallway that you haven't really gone over there yet. Okay. So the intel that we got from the intern, basically, we think maybe the mama, uh, Weirmere or whatever is at the very back of the hall, 
and possibly if we turn left uh just like at the first intersection here that goes to the third key so you mean go north check the check this place out and hopefully head west from there <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay. directly north should be Mama Wormir. And mm. then whether or not that connects to the other place, we'll see. Damn. Yeah. If only we knew yeah. how to control these fucking things, it would be cool to set them loose on this place. That would be great. And I'm thinking maybe we, we don't have to kill the Wormir. We just, we just sneak past and grab whatever key it has. Unless the dick bags put the key inside the weir mirror, we have to break it open to get to get. Uh, let's worry. Let's not worry about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Let's go. <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Also, we don't have that much time. Let's head over. Okay. We go north. Yeah. Eh, bye, fuckers. Not you guys, the worms. <laughs> okay, so you're just avoiding all those worms there. I mean, they are locked yeah. behind their doors. So. Yeah, they're behind yeah. the cage, so if I don't have to worry about them, I'm not going to worry about them. Do they react to us as we saunter by? Mm. I mean, are you going? Are you trying to be stealthy? <laughs> no. Honestly, no. Okay. Um... Yes, they notice you and they sort of kind of... Some of them sort of just kind of look at you. Some kind of, you know, <sighs> kind of at you. Um, <laughs> but they're not like, they're not like, you know, ra acting rabid. Like they're going to like break down the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Glad we didn't waste energy on that. What's ahead of us? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you've, you're all the way up there. Uh, hey. I was like, where's near? Oh, all the way at the top. Okay. Yeah, penguin. All right. So this is a larger room you have here, um, mm -hmm. and you can see there is a door to your left. A larger door. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a it's an, a a sort of a pretty large sort of kind of prisoner style door that has um, you know some bars and stuff there. Mm. Um, so and. Uh, you won't need to make a check to see this. You can look inside. Okay. And you see. Oh, hi. <laughs> you see a big-ass worm here. Definitely much bigger than the other ones. And you can see behind it a small green orb. Oh. Amazing. Oh. Uh, wait, yeah. and there's... Wait, what is the door between us? It's just, like, bars? It's, like, a full door, but there's, like... You know, like, those doors that have, like, a window inset into the door? Yeah. It's like okay. that, but there's bars, like, instead of, you know... Got it. So, okay. yeah. Um, that said, it definitely notices you. And it's just sort of <laughs> staring at you. <laughs> Alright. Big old bitch. Uh, how do we open this door? Uh. Is there a handle? Or yeah, we can just open the door, let open. it out, and it just get out of its way. Well, we're probably mm -hmm. like aggression five, right? Like danger five, aggression five. Uh oh, in terms of that, uh, you would know aggression is five. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say normal ones are like power is like three, so you know. Yeah. You can make your estimations based off of that. Yeah. <laughs> I think this thing's gonna go after anything that looks like it would piss it off, so... Yeah, I'm just... Let's yeah. stay out of its way, but if it decides to attack one of us, then we're ready to stab Perfect. it a little. Well, wait. Yeah. Can, so can we see the key in plain view on the other side? You can see it behind its body. Yeah. Okay. Shit, any of you people have Mage Hand? Yeah, I mean, well, no. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, if we could just grab it. But unfortunately, 
Or Dimension Door, to. you can like, or Misty Step, you can like, step in, grab it, and then step out. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I have that either. Yeah, I don't. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, I mean, guess... I could potentially, um, yeah, Anna's like, I could potentially hypnotize it, but it seems really risky. I would have to get up right next to it. Guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Uh, is uh, there, like, like, a... Does the door seem to be locked? Like, actually, can I just pull on the door? Um... Make an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nereid. You got this. Please be strong. It'd be really embarrassing if you weren't. Athletics. Uh, you pull on the door and uh, you are, it takes a bit of effort and it's not immediate, but you are sort of like kind of steadily sort of pulling the door almost like literally off. Yeah. I am going to uh, you put on one of my, take this opportunity to put on one of my blur devices. I will take the opportunity to step back. As you're doing that, the Wormir steps closer. <laughs> and it's it's right up to, close to the door as you're pulling it off. Damn. Wait. Ugh. Okay. I'm assuming we don't get a surprise attack because it sees us there. Yes. Is it... Wait, hold on. Is it taking... Like, is the width accurate so is it like taking you know literally the 10 foot no wide? so i i it it's it, since it's a serpent um yeah it's like i would say it's like 20 feet long five feet wide mm -hmm. so it, but it, mainly it, it, it like i'm fit. trying to ask is it if oh, the do if the door gets ripped off then it will be able to fit through but yeah okay what i meant was uh is it at all possible for anyone to pass through like, go to the side, essentially. Like, squeeze their way in between. Um, or is it just I'll clogging say up the entire I'll make area? a dex check, uh, with, and it will try to attack you. If we were to do that, okay. Yes. Okay. So, like, an attack of opportunity, but you have to make a dex check. So, okay. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Also, for whatever reason, I'm only at 17 health, so before this happened, could I have taken a potion? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I will do so. Give me. Give me that health. Okay. Okay, uh... I guess we're... Well, okay. Does anyone want to roll for a uh, re-roll initiative? Oh, yeah, let's uh, uh, mm, mm. I'll fine. I'll, I'll re-roll initiative. What's yeah. the work we could get? I say that. I'm literally in the middle, so might as well. We got oh. a biscuit to risk. I'm okay. Woo! 14 is not bad. Huh? 24 <laughs> is much better. <laughs> Wow. What did you, have? <laughs> you had like, what? Yeah, Aaron, what did you have? Like, fourteen. I had fifteen. Okay. So yeah, I was like kind How of about? in the middle, but I'm like, why not? Okay. okay yeah. I don't want to risk mine. <laughs> I'll stay at fourteen. Okay. Also, you're all quite lucky that I rolled a five. Okay. Uh, Hooray! Well, Anna, you're first. Uh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to? Okay, this is gonna look stupid, but this will better portray. <laughs> okay. <it's> like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, that's its actual size here. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. Oh, boy. This may or may not. I mean, whatever. We're just gonna do it. Anna will walk up to it, and we are gonna hypnotic gaze this creature. Let's go. Okay. It 
must make a um if the target can see or hear me it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw against the wizard so i'll save dc which is going to be 17. okay um or be charmed okay uh whatever this roll is it's plus two okay doesn't matter <gasps> uh, walks right up to it stares into its eyes and say um you are staying where you are little snake one of you go get the key wait one so second hold on uh this is you're specifically charming it it says it is yeah it okay it will say in the not a gaze information, it says, or be charmed by you until the end of your next turn. Charm creature speed drops to zero, and the creature is incapacitated and visibly dazed. Okay, hold so on. I guess I the effects wanna, are. I want to double charmed. check something. Yeah. Probably the conditions would be charmed, incapacitated, and dazed. Okay, I was wondering if it was a thing where, like, because I know some of these spells have a situation where it's like. If, if basically, like, if they're too stupid, it doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but for that's, intelligence. That's, yeah, but that's not a case here, so you it, it works. Well, that's Anna's turn, and Anna said just what she said previously. Okay. How long does this last? For as long as I concentrate on it. And, like, I have to spend my action. Let's see. The effect ends if you move more than five feet away from it. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, who's who's gonna who's gonna go? Well, I thought we were Man. still in initiative. Is the problem? Oh. Uh, I guess sure. Okay. Uh, then Elden is up. The only one to go. All right. Five, ten. I'm still in, are we still in combat time? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's as far as that's about as far as I can move. Uh, you can dash. Yeah, you could. You dash. could dash oh. as a bonus action. As and, a and I'll really. just say grabbing it is not like an action or anything. So you can just okay. take it if you dash over there. Okay. I have, and dash gives you twice your speed. Yeah. All right. So I think then you have, I, I move back a little bit too. Uh, okay, then I would have. Uh, all right, boom. And then uh, okay, so boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so you did grab it. Yes. Okay. Oop. All right. As you grab oh, it, yeah. you would notice that it is, you know, the exact same size and shape as... Because you have the blue one, too, right? I do. Yeah, so it's the same exact size and shape. It is, however, green instead of blue. Uh, blue! All right. Okay. Uh, does anyone want to do anything else? Is, is anyone going to do anything else, or should we just kind of loop back around Elden and getting out of there? Yeah, let's just loop back around. Yeah. I mean, so Anna will say, hmm, it's going to be chasing us once I let go of this charm. How do we want to deal with that? How about or you just quit holding it while I close the door? It'll it's still be in line of sight. Okay. No. Okay. Because I didn't take it off completely. So I can just push Ooh, it back in. Oh, actually, wait, hold up. So I have dash, so... So, wait, yeah... Valen, do you want it on my turn? I just let go. So, like, I would go before Elden would go. Oh, because then it would be Elden's turn. Elden's yeah, the turn to, to leave. And yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah. I'm spending my turn once... Yeah, so I'm spending my turn to, I mean, I guess, walk away. And, I mean, if I still have an action, might as well pop its brain a little bit. Mind sliver. Intelligence saving throw, please. Meh. Nothing happens. 
Okay. Um. Okay, so then Elden okay. used your, Elden used your turn to get out of there. Um. So. So Nira, your your plan is to basically close the door and keep it trapped in there, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Zal is going to basically try to run up to help you do that. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, Nightshade, do you want to do anything before we have... On near, on near it, on your turn, we'll have you and Zal roll athletics to close the door. So, mm -hmm. uh, Nightshade, do you want to do anything or no? Uh, I could help him. Do they get triple advantage if I help them? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Also triple the risk of not one, but you good. You got this. All right, on near it's turn, all rolling athletics. <laughs> go, go, go. Ada is on the sideline with pom poms cheering. <laughs> oh, wait, who's whose turn? Oh, my turn. The, you're going, you're rolling, rolling athletics. athletics with this. I have fifteen. Damn it. Still okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you close the door, and then I will see if this thing is a. Uh, awake now, so will it be able to smash through the door? Ooh. And I'll say that's also an athletics check on its part. Yeah, we left an opening. No, that's oh. definitely not good enough. It cannot... It's it's bashing its head into the door, but it can't break through. Loser. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Never thought I'd say this, but here, so here, here, to Scootum's infrastructure. <laughs> Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's make the words right out of my mouth. Eat. Whoa, 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 whoa. An auto will say, whoa, 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 not that far. To the left, or I guess we're coming down here. So to the right, down this corridor, is the third key. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, I don't think that's a door. It's not white. It so. doesn't look like a door. Yeah, okay, this? whatever. Oh. Isn't that where the intern thing, though? Yeah. But, but I think we might have no, to go thinking, down. Think, or oh, it back. is a door. I just, I just did it badly. I, oh, you okay. could. He, it was blocked. I didn't I, see. Yeah, I, I thought. I basically, I knew there was a. Uh, that I didn't realize that. I, I knew there was a, a room there. I didn't realize that there, there was a door there. Well, whatever. There's a door. You push through the door. There's nothing there, so you're fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm just bad. <laughs> oh, there's a door up north. Yes. So there is a door up north. Uh... Peekaboo. <laughs> All right, you perceiving through that door? Honest yes. perceives under the door. Okay, well, do do, do the perceiving. Perception. Perceiving is a twenty-two. Oh. Yeah, the twenty. Okay, and um, twenty. Okay, you are both very confident. You don't hear anyone. Well, hold on. Since you rolled so high. <laughs> Feed us info. I hunger for intel. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Oh, I need to do a thing. Roll for knowledge. Hold on, I have to change something back before I uh, forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so that's that. Okay, this is going to be at advantage that I'm rolling right now. Oh. oh, oh. Great. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck off. Well, fair. <laughs> okay. Fair. Uh, no, 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 well, I mean, that's... So you are pretty, you are very, pretty, really damn confident. You don't hear anybody uh, in the next room. Um, so looking forward, um, you do see there's sort of like a little kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, like a little lip, kind of like a little sort of rubble pile um, mm -hmm. that's sort of in the way a little bit. But p past that is another sort of small room and it seems to sort of, loop around to the left to some degree. So here, let me... There. So that's a wall back there. 
I don't trust that pile. Looks like it might, there might be ordnance under it. Hmm. What, you want me to blast it? This is all. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna... the whole base. I mean, the whole base is pretty alerted when Vesper went running. Mm. Yeah. Probably they weren't alerted to us. I mean, who knows? We could be anything. Well, I have to agree with Youngblood there. They don't know we're here. Well, look, if you're worried about something being under the rubble, just jump over it. <laughs> okay. Here I go. Boing. Yeah, the coast seems clear anyways. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll just try and jump. Make an acrobatics check. Hooray! It'll be an easy DC, but you can fail. It's always possible to Why fail. Why would you say that to me? You got an 11. No! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Oh no, it's you're too squishy for that shit. <laughs> Okay, Austin well, goes to jump, clips her foot, and falls right on the other side, just like right there. And nothing happens. It's just, it's just a pile of rocks. Okay, Ooh. cool, pile of rocks. <laughs> We've been saved. But it still hurt. Ow. Acrobatic, uh, okay. Yes. I there mean, Anna's already proved that there's nothing under the goddamn oh, rocks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elden okay. literally on the ground and she's looking up behind. <laughs> Elden and Nightshade you just sort of fools. gracefully fly over that. Freaking Elden has to one up everybody. We just keep <laughs> like, no, they, we both, just... they both jump over the pile and Otto. <laughs> yeah, Otto's just like bitches. No, I just think all, like Otto's like, okay, now it's your to and they're just like teleported across the pile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We do the fucking like fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z to teleport. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. West. Right. What is to our west? Just let me fill up the rest of that. Okay. So there is a door now in the uh, southwest corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's perceive. Okay. Perceive, and you shall receive. Ooh, twenty-six. Oh. 20. Oh, athletics. <laughs> Near I perceive the door. strongly. It's <laughs> trying so hard not to accidentally press persuasion. <laughs> well, uh, you didn't press persuasion. Uh, for 14. Okay. Um, neither of you hear anything. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, close seems clear. Jump okay. into the darkness. Huzzah! Okay, well, hold on, wait, so who goes in first? Nereid. Okay, back up. Followed by Elden. <laughs> then Otto. Um, oops, what happened there? That was weird. Okay, um... As you open the door... Me. <laughs> Bitch! There's oh, an assassin cool. right behind it that tried to stab tries to stab near it with a 17. Uh do, do, do. hold on. Ah, he misses. I have an 18 AC. Okay, Ooh. Well damn. Um Alright. Uh I guess here, let's move through turn order, but we'll skip the, the scout's turn, since they just basically had a turn. So, Anna, you'll go first. Um, okay. Anna will... We will mind sliver it. Intelligence saving throw, please. Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Seven psychic damage, and you will suffer consequences soon. Elden. That's it for Otto. Right, Elden's turn. I believe, yep. Alright. Let us uh, take aim and fire. 
Uh, wow. Nice. Yeah, that hits and does a crap load of damage. Thirty damage. <laughs> okay, it's still up, but looking. You definitely shot it good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zal is going to try to blast it. Blast it. Hits the second time. Ooh, and just dust enough to take it out. Oh, yeah! Bye. <laughs> it's a good thing they don't hand these guys communicators, or we might be in a whole mess of it. Alright. True. Moment of Customary moment of silence for our, for our enemy. Looted. They deserve two seconds max, but yes. I give him one. <laughs> Uh, oh, All right. Um, oh. Elden, you find you don't find anything actually. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Said this like what kind of kingdom sh sh throws their soldiers into battle with nothing, with no equipment but weapons. It's disrespectful to the people who kill them and want to loot their corpses. <laughs> I mean, do you equip weapons in your own house? Do I have weapons in my own house? Of course I do. Elden. You don't? I knew I liked you. Elden's, Elden, Elden's <laughs> one of those like conservative like gun hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, I mean, he's in a, like a ship artillery enthusiast, so probably. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay, there is another little rock barrier here. There also are two rooms. Oh, well, there's there's three doors. There's one on the opposite wall, and then there's two on this kind of path over here. Um, that said, uh, as you come around the corner, make a perception check. Sixteen. A nine. Yeah. I open my calculator next one. Hang on. <laughs> perception. We're gonna get a natural one as you watch. How funny. <laughs> Okay, 15. Uh, 15. Uh, Ezra 1 yeah. plus 14, that's not bad. Yeah, so I'll say everyone... What the hell do you want to say? Uh, I'll say... Myriad and Nightshade, you hear... Voices... From this direction. Don't look now! Um, Elden, you can hear... Specifically, you hear multiple voices... And you think at one point you hear something like, All right, spread out. Search the area. Uh -oh. It sounds like mm. uh, someone calling for a search. It sounds like, it was like we might, they might have. Might hear us. They might be onto us. My thought is we should hide in the lower, uh, sorry, lower left. And then if they come out through this upper door where we heard them, then, like, you know, we can ambush them. Ooh. But if you guys just want to run straight in, that's up to you. Whatever you want, yeah. you're the boss. How many, do, uh, like, how many does it sound like we're up against? <laughs> Couldn't tell, just heard the one. Yeah. There's multiple. There's more than, I'll say more than two. Hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah, drone. <laughs> Spider penguin. Uh, Wait. So a... it, is sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Are there places to hide in the back here? Like, is there some area for like five of us to hide? Well, because uh, there's a door down. Oops. There's yeah, a door. So you could here. try to just go through this door if you want to do that. If you mm. want to assume that that's a different room. Or if you want to just sort of like go like back the way you came a bit to like maybe kind of peek around the corner, that could be enough. True. Way. Or you could just stand there and have them come out and fight them. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, I will say one thing. Because there is this pile of rubble right here. Oh yeah. Um, if someone wants to try to hide behind it, um, I mean, some of us are short enough. No. Yeah. I will Go let... for it, Anna. 
Okay. I'll say Elden and Anna can do it, <laughs> be at, but it will be at disadvantage. Okay. The others, if they try to do it, it'll be at disadvantage and minus five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll leave it up to you guys. I mean, Anna doesn't really want to be right there anyways, unfortunately. Like, fair enough. I mean... Okay. Uh, then I'll hide behind it. Where's the rubble? Right here. Anna will be around the corner, though. Okay. Okay. So, Elden, you're going to hide with this bitch. Also, Nereid, you phase through a wall. Uh, Did I? Oh, shit. I'm putting you back. Okay. Alright, need me to give you a stealth roll? Do stealth roll at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice disadvantage. Okay. Here, I'm gonna move you actually up one more, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, and the rest of you, uh. Okay, if you want to try to see what's going on, you'll have to make a stealth roll. If you want to just completely just stand behind the corner and not see what's going on, then you won't have to roll anything, but you won't see what's going on. So. Uh, mm. I'll make a stealth roll. Please don't fuck me over stealth roll. Stealth roll, fuck me over! <laughs> and yes. Anna will try and peek also. Okay. Uh, Zal is going to as well, actually. Okay. okay. Alright, one second here. I gotta make sure I got the stuff right. We're literally like a cartoon, like, you know, when people, when, like, they're peeking over a corner, it's like three heads on top of each other. Yeah. And Anna's yeah. head is at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> See, we can share the same wall. Efficiency. Okay. All right. Uh, so the dr so okay. The drone is the. What is the drone doing right now? Spider drone. Spider drone. Hmm. Is it the uh, that no that drone? Yeah, your uh, your your drone. What do you have? Because right oh. now it's just up against the door, but like that's probably not a good place for it to be. Probably. Oh, I didn't realize I had it out. It's still okay. So, are you just gonna like move it out of the way or what? Yeah. Um. Can it hide with me? Yeah. Cool. Gross. If it's hidden. Okay, so, um, two soldiers come out of this room. Uh, I will say, uh, as a reminder, Elden, you definitely heard more than two voices. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of them is going to head up through the northern door. Mm. And then this one is going to now make a perception check. Okay, it sees, uh, Myriad and Zal, <laughs> and it's going to, sh and it's going, as basically as soon as the guy sort of went up the north room, he's going to go, ah, and, uh, <laughs> shoot at Myriad. Ugh. Fuck you, you missed. I didn't attack yet. Oh, I, th I looked at the bottom <laughs> number, never mind. <laughs> But you're 22. Never hits. mind, you didn't miss. <laughs> Damn it. Nine damage. Ew. Okay, um. Okay, Anna. Yeah, Anna will. Remember, you are not seen at this moment, so if you want to Interesting. get away, you, then you can do that. Does that mean an attack could have advantage against it? Sure. Okay. Well, we are throwing a frost grenade from this hidden position. Ray of Frost, 23. Yep, that hits. 
seven cold damage, and it is slowed. Okay. Peekaboo! All right. Uh... Elden, I believe. Yeah. Okay, you are hidden at this point, so... Oh, yeah, I'm set up. Fire. Take the disadvantage. Really take the advantage from being... Yep. Uh, yeah, wow, okay. That's <laughs> 24 to hit, and that's 36 damage. Whoa! Uh, yeah. It is still up, but barely. What? <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, anything else, Elden, or is that... Um... Do you want to try yeah, to nope, back that's again, it. or... Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. I back down again is good. Yeah, so stealth again at disadvantage. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Well. It's not gonna probably not gonna matter very much, but why not? <laughs> okay. Yep. Um. All right. Now Zal's gonna shoot. Damn. Now you hit things. Oh, and the Goodbye. First... Okay. And uh, that is actually enough to take it out. So it looked like Ooh. it was maybe about to call for help, but you all sort of pelt it real quickly. So, all right, it is down. Oof. That okay? It didn't look like the commander though. No, no. there was another one though. Went and oh, went yeah, and there sounded like there. And it, sounded like, and it sounded like there were more than one. No, I didn't realize that there was further. Now I'm going to send the I'm going to send the drone in to the room. Which room? The northern room? Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. You see a short hallway. There is a door to the uh, north and a door to the west. Both are closed at the moment. Okay. All clear. Door to the north and door to the west. Uh, we want to. I believe we want to go. We want to go northwest, but I don't know where. Yeah. So either way, I guess. Let's try. Let's try west first. Then. Okay. Let's go west. West. Fuck is west. Okay, so. Come on, say west. You planning on like going this way? Okay, yeah. Ten we Okay. Uh. Any perceptions? Uh, of yeah, course. that sure. western door. What is underneath the door? Anna inquires with a 19 perception. Eighteen. Uh, anyone else want a perception? Yep, me. Are you gonna do it or not even bother? Let's try it out, shall we? Why not? Though I think it's all for now, anyway. Or oh, maybe one for now. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm, you think you see somebody on the other side? Mm. What's the plan mm. of attack? I mean, I'm gonna. Attack this north door with my eyeballs and perceive. See if there's <laughs> something up there. Uh. Okay. Half the least resistance, boys. 22. Okay. Um. You can also hear someone in that room. 
Mm -hmm. And actually, with that 22... Uh, one second. Uh, okay. Uh, also that you can hear, um, you can hear the sound of a door opening over here. Can you ping again? South of you. Behind us. Okay. Oh, uh, fuck. Well, we're screwed at either way. <laughs> Wait, is that door where the drone is? Can that be closed? Uh. Yes. Well, actually, Shut I it. don't know if anyone's out there yet. Um, alright, so. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, guys. There's. Seems to be hostiles in both rooms. Yeah. Well, let's gonna go over our. Then let's go with our original plan to head on west. We'll just throw open the door and spray and pray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do. Okay. I like the way you think, young blood. Oh, then grins. Okay. All right. Uh, so you're just throwing in and shooting. Yeah. yeah. Can I prep or can I prepare an attack? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. All right. Uh, let's Hi. go in order. Uh, so Anna first. All right. Mind slam. <laughs> Leroy, I mean Anna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get advantage if you yell at, if you yell out the name of the spell. <laughs> Intelligence oh, saving oh, throw, on. please. No. Oh, oh shit! I'll say, okay, I'll double damage, I'll say. Alright, take the 12 psychic, and you will suffer soon enough. Okay, Elden. Elden! Starts to spray. Runs like while there's not, like, thinks, thinks he should pray first. Then remembers that he can aim, aims, and then fires. Ooh! Oh, nice. Holy fuck. Okay. Wow. Uh, 28, 28 damage. damage. Yep. I wrote the wrong thing down. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that instead of it taking 12 damage, it had 12 HP left. Uh, nope, oh, no. that, that is not true. Um, so it's <laughs> still it. it's still up, but, you know, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shell shocked. It's all turn. Pew. Uh, I think it's a miss. Ooh. No, it's not a miss. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That, that's Ooh. a miss. <laughs> okay, uh, still up. Nightshade. I'm gonna shoot it with <laughs> my guns. Nightshade! <laughs> Are you a <laughs> <one> now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Damn it, the pistol pistol misses. pistol misses, others hit. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, <we're> the guns. <laughs> I'm gonna do what any self-respected farmer would do. Get my gun! Get my gun! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Huh. Damn it, I voted for Bush. Okay. Um. What room is this anyway? Thought it. Anna says. It looks like a weird library research no, area. No, I can't really tell what that is. I mean, there's like a rug in the middle, but there's a bunch of stuff on the sides. I don't know what that's. Yeah, it looks like it's like a workshop or something. Yeah, I'll say it's just right. sort of kind of like a workstation that might be there. Um, Anything vaguely interesting? Uh, make roll an investigation check. Let's see. Wow. Uh, Eight. That was intimidation. That's intimidation. I'm really bad at intimidating this room. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Anna puts on a second pair of glasses over her original pair. Oh, cool! Even better. Okay. All right, eighteen. Um. Anna, roll.
roll a like flip a coin so like a d2 all right here we go two okay now roll a d250 okay <laughs> give me 217 please 156 217 <laughs> Actually, it was actually 156. I know. 217 actually would have been really interesting. Uh, <laughs> wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Kill me. This is weird. Uh... <laughs> this is... Interesting. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Okay, you find a pair of shoes. High heels? Uh, no. But they somehow fit you. <laughs> oh. Huh. I didn't know that the scooter wears size twos. <laughs> Do they seem... Like, do they seem like they have any special material there's to it? Some or like, technology, some there's some tech on, like, the bottom of the shoes. And then Can Ana do like, a, a basic up. arcana? Sure, yeah. Okay. Just to see, at a glance, what this could be with a 27. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna copy the description here. So, the D&D &D item that this is are the slippers of spider climbing. Nice. Huh? <gasps> Damn. So while you wear these light shoes, you can move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving your hands free. You have a climbing speed equal to your walking speed. However, they don't allow you to move this way on slippery surfaces, such as those covered by ice or oil. Oh? Mm, makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's some uh, adhesive, like, kind of attached to the bottom of this. Seems like it could be helpful with climbing. Awesome. That looks handy. Anna will, unfortunately, get out of her high heels mm -hmm. and into these shoes. Awesome. But we'll still have the high heels, like, in available whenever we need it. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, other than that, I'm not sure if there's anything else around here, and it seems like a dead-end room. Uh, oh, there's a door to the south. Oh. We're in, like, next to Nightshade. Yeah. Yeah, where the drone is. Yeah, if you want to do stuff, I am just copying the information over Okay, uh, everyone make perception checks. Okay. Anna is a soft 20. No, oh, I almost clicked on 15. 15. <laughs> oh, actually, Corey, you got a soft 20, Corey. Yeah, thank you. Let's see what we got here. A five. We're doing good, gents. We're doing good. <laughs> gents? That's a quarter of the way there. Okay. Um, I'll say everyone... Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Nereid, were you specifically like trying to look uh, look at like that door to the south? Or were you just from where you were? Um. The Yeah, the, the south door. Okay. So, everyone who's near the south door, you think you can actually hear... It's kind of faint, but you think you might hear someone sort of, like, breathing heavily as if they were kind of, like, running up. They're not super close to you, though, but they're they're clearly they're on the other side of the door. They're coming closer as if they're running towards to get somewhere. Shit. Um, uh... Also, everyone else, you, besides Nereid, can hear a door behind you opening. <laughs> God damn it. 
Incoming. And the oh. room from the north, a scooter and the soldier comes forward and goes, Ah, oh, they're here! Wait, who are you? It doesn't matter. And with that also, uh, a, n another soldier sort of runs up from down oh. here. Gotta love that. And so we're gonna have two. I'll have one shoot at Elden and one shoot at Zol. Okay. <laughs> this one's aiming for Elden. Twenty-three. Nope. Oh. Six damage. Okay. And can he dodge? Okay. Twenty-four. That hits Zol for four damage. Okay. Okay. Check something. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Anna. All right. Say? Anna is mind slivering red dot on the bottom. Okay. Let's pinch that wee pea brain of yours. That's right. Five okay. seconds. Okay. Plus the debuff for later. Uh, Elden. And fire at Red Dot. Ooh! Uh, 25 damage. Okay. Alright. Still up. So I was going to shoot it. Again, also the red one. There we go, there's some damage. Ooh, there's some damage. Okay, that's oh 19. It's still <laughs> up. Oh, this is the Okay, Nightshade. That was a red one, right? Or the green red one? one is being attacked. I will suggest, by the way, you may want to uh, shoot once and then check the damage before you shoot again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna shoot the red one first. That shade. Boom. Okay. Ooh. And boom. Okay, uh, red one is down. Now we're going for green! Get him. Uh, those both hit. Yeah! Eight! And eight! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, Myriad. Finally, I get to hit something. Oh. <laughs> Alright. 16? That hits. Yeah, so that's 16 damage total. And then... 27? Oh god, that damage is god awful. Eight more damage. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it's still up. Yeah, uh, and I'm gonna use... Not the... Not the action surge, but the other one that lets me heal a... a oh, person, second. Or a oh, second, second win. Second win. That's yeah, D10, second win. D10 plus fighter level? Which would be a six. So D ten plus six. Okay, hmm. you heal eleven HP. Okay. Well. Hmm. All right. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, at this moment, you think you know? Do you notice the door? Uh, to your south, uh, start to, uh, well, actually, hold on. <laughs> yeah, okay, you, the door to the south of you, it seems like someone's, a, like, it seems like it's about to be open, like, right this instant. Ugh, <sighs> annoying. Actually, in fact, you know what, it just straight up opens. Uh, but, <laughs> this will, but this will be, like, this will be their turn, so... They're not going to be able to do anything to me. Okay. Do we see who it is? Well, yeah, or is it that's just why, the That's why I'm okay. doing this. <laughs> uh. Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move this guy out of the way. <laughs> Before I get Hi. 
I like to think of the, the thing just like scuttles like away like a little spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna roll initiative for him though. Oh. Okay. Ooh, tying hey. with a lot of people. Uh, what's the dex modifiers for Nereid and Nightshade? Uh, Nereid's plus two dex. Ooh, tied again. I'll be nice. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Anna. Okay, wait. Um, how does the green dot look? If uh, Kazana's seen it, it has been attacked a few times. Right. Uh, not good. It doesn't look good. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay. Anna doesn't want it risking like sounding anything further so Anna's gonna go over and we'll hypnotic gaze it wisdom saving throw hold on that was more important okay <laughs> wisdom save dc 17 yeah okay fail okay it is under the charm incapacitated and visibly dazed effect okay oh no you don't you ain't getting out of here that easily Okay. On its turn, does it, like, try to, like, break out of it again, or no? It doesn't even have a save. Okay. So, it only breaks if Anna stops stops it manually. She leaves within yeah. five feet, or it is damaged. Okay, yeah, I see that. Okay. Alright, so then, Elden, you have a weakened oh. soldier to your right, and a bruiser guy coming in through the door to the south. Let's fire at the weekend guy. Aim and fire. Okay, that Ooh. is enough to take him out. Right. Teamwork makes the dream work. Vol is oh, going yeah. to shoot at big boy. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Oh. Good. Ooh, 24. Oh! Damage. <laughs> That's nice damage. And am I going to... Thank uh... you. Yeah, fuck it. Use a key for Flurry of Blows. Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. That's a lot of damage. Uh, okay, so that was 24 plus 12, so 36 plus 26 <laughs> damage. Damn. 50. No, 62 damage? I think that's right. Yeah. Also, it has to make a deck save. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, 36 plus 26, yeah. Ah, it has advantage against this. Me. Didn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Sucks the suck. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's now on fire. Uh, <laughs> it's all sort of go. Oh, that was a lot better than before. Yeah. <laughs> Nightshade. Guns! <laughs> Big guy! Two guns! Well, three guns. I, I'm a shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Pew pew! Get him! Pew! Ooh! Ooh. All hit. Pew! Eleven! Ten! Ooh! Ten! Okay, thirty-one damage. Pew 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 pew! Still up, but not looking too good. Die, bitch! Period. 
<laughs> Fucking get shit on, nerd. Uh, let's see. It's my last spell, but I... Um, no, actually, no, I won't use it. Alright, uh, spear number one. Get the little bow. No, it didn't. Okay, 15. Uh, uh, that hits. Yeah, okay, so 18 damage. And then second hit. 15 again for uh, 13 damage. That was the quickest bruiser fight you've ever had. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> yeah! yeah! It took us how many crits to do that? Two but crits. It was well worth it. No, well three worth. crits, because they all got two crits. And then oh, he yeah. had critted, and it was before I could use rage. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, get in the jump. Yeah, damn, okay. Oof. Well, Anna pokes her head across to the other side uh, where, I mean, she's already here, that door. What? Oh. The the door yeah, where yeah. I guess Green Dot came out of? Yes. Hmm. Does it look like there's any other doors in this room? There are no other doors in this room. That's a dead end room. Okay. And is does is it kind of just like storage? Is what it looks like. Yeah. All right. What ifs? Nothing seems to be in here. As she turns back to the rest of the party. <laughs> she turned back to the Perfect. rest of the party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, better than than the alternative. She's just like moonwalking back. I mean, you got your knuckles, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Zal will sort of step forward a bit and say, "This guy seemed to be running from something. Maybe to report about something." Hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't, I don't report on much now. Well, maybe there is. Seems he came from the west. Hmm. Well then, we should probably continue on westward to see... Uh, see if they were going to report on something. Yeah. You think those are our boys they're running into? And it could have been. They, they were running around for a while. Uh, stepping through down here, where Zal is. Anna's going. Yep. And I'm going as well. Okay. Where did Zal go? Zal is uh, pff, Zana. Uh, Zal's right next to Anna. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can see, um. There's this kind of a long hallway here, and there's a couple doors that are on the sides here that are closed. However, at the far end, the door is sort of, like, blown off. And you can Whoa. see a little bit into the next room. And kind of in the doorway is a dead soldier. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and the state of this room, does it seem like there was any battle in this room? At any point recently. Um. Make a either perception or investigation. Okay, perception is giving us just the ten. I'm gonna do investigation. Twenty-three. Okay. Okay. Actually, I, I, I was wrong about something. Um, the door in the southwest corner actually is also open. Um, mm. And Elden, you can tell based on how those two doors are open. Also, you could maybe see some sort of scorch marks from firings. It seemed like that there was some fighting in the western end of this room. Um, mm -hmm. 
and also with a 23, um, you think that there were maybe some guards who were standing probably about where you were, but then they sort of ran mm. west to sort of deal with whatever was happening in the western part over there. So, oh, so whatever it is, they were heading our way. They were, they were. So uh, whatever happened here, <clears throat> they might have been running towards something more than running away from something. Yeah, something tells me maybe it was Vesper and his crew. Yeah, maybe. So. Like a boy's are giving them a whole lot of hell. Me. Mm. Lord. All right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look into uh, um, into the most south or northwesterly room. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, there is a door up where Anna is standing too. Uh, Anna's yeah. perceiving that door. Okay, you're both perceiving that door. Um, okay. Go well, ahead. no, Anna's perceiving. Doing a different the, one. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You're perceiving your respective doors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Anna's gonna be a. 21 for this door. Natural one. Okay. <laughs> Myriad? That's a door. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a nice ass door. door. Yeah. Inspecting the handiwork. Anna, you don't hear anything. And actually, I'll say you can see either. You can see a small. You can see through the cracks. Uh, and you see just a kind of short little hallway that leads to. That sort of bends to the, uh, the west. Hmm, okay. Doesn't seem like anyone's in this one could potentially be okay to travel through. I will also say, Anna, with your perception, um, you don't hear any fighting to the west, um, but you might hear something, but you can't tell what it is. Okay. Well, yeah, Anna's like, we do need to head overall, generally, the northwest direction. Mm -hmm. That's our goal. Uh, yeah, so honestly, well, this room seems to be, at least have a, uh, it seems like the coast is clear in this room, so let, let's just take a look. Anna will go into this room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stealthily? Yes, please. Okay. How is a 28 still? Uh, well, as you peek your head around the corner. Hmm. You see another, you see the hallway continues, though there is, uh, it sort of has like a little, seems like it has, actually it has a little bit of a zigzag to it. Um, yeah. So extend a little bit more so you can see this a bit more. Oh, okay, okay. Anna beckons everyone to, you know, come in, and she gives, like, the librarian sound. Cool. And Anna will try to stealthily get closer, I guess. Okay. Uh, as you pass, you keep going west, uh, Myriad, you eventually see to the south of you good ass door uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah so keep going here get, get, yeah. up to, like, get up to like the corner yeah okay mm -hmm. I'll leave stealth to the people who are good at stealth okay Hmm. So, at this point here, you can see there is a door to the south part of that next hallway, and there is a fancy door at the end of this hallway. It's another one of those regal-looking doors, similar to um, the door that had the uh, the sisters, the silent sisters. Mm -hmm. mm. This could be what we're looking for. All right. Hey. Go in guns blazing. <laughs> well, Anna will be, stay a little bit back. You jumped forward, Anna. Yeah, well, you're not close to the door yet. 
Well, yeah. That's true. All right, we doing this. Mm -hmm. Prepare an action to fire on enemy up, upon sight. Yep, preparing to stick a spear into this guy. All right. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, Nightshade, you joining us? Of course, I am. I think I'd, I think I'd stay here for a smoke. I mean, you're all the way over there, <laughs> so I don't know what you're doing. Wait, uh, I guess before we do this, um, how tall is this hallway? Like, what's the height of the ceiling? Just curious. Mm, ten feet. Okay, and then the other thing, um, what is, like, the ground, or I guess the wall is also made of? Like, is it stone? Because no, wasn't it, so, like, from the very outside, it was plant material? Right, so literally everything here, even though the map looks like it's all stone, everything, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, it all looks like it's plant material. And it's not like, again, it's not like as if someone, like, made, like, wood planks and laid them down. It's as if someone grew a plant into this shape with all of the spaces in between. Wow. So what we're standing on is, like... It's Boy, like yeah. wood, yeah. Wood, okay. But it's not processed wood, if that makes sense. Well, okay. Is it any of dirt, sand, or clay? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Good enough for me. So it's all sources. So what? Kick down the door and immediately start shooting. I mean, I don't see any way we could sneak up on this thing. Can I roll a perception through this door to kind of get a sense of what it looks like in there? Sure. I would also like to roll perception together. <laughs> Anna would like to climb and hang upside down from the ceiling and also perceive on the top crease of the door. I don't okay. see shit. 17? Uh, okay. Anna apparently found the magic secret to, to seeing it. Uh, climb upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to be, you know, you have to be ten, 10 feet tall, and then they leave a little opening at the top of the door. It's like, it's like you know, it has like the peepholes, but it's, you know, 10 feet up, because it's... <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Uh, you see... Here, do I want to just reveal the whole thing? Eh, okay, fine, I will, actually. Ooh. But uh, don't immediately jump in there because I'm gonna say a thing. Mm -hmm. I would immediately jump in there. Okay. <laughs> so you actually, Anna, you can see through a little gap there at the top. You see a very large, much larger than other. Um, oh damn! Of the uh, Scutum Bruisers. However, he's actually like. Sitting down, basically cross-legged, basically facing away from you. Like in a meditative pose? Um, yeah, almost. Oh. Is he saying anything, or is he just, like, no. staying calm? Staying calm. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't just say... Uh, Bruiser-looking guy, you know, way bigger than the ones that we've normally fought against. He seems to be meditating right now for whatever reason. We might be able to catch him by surprise. But Perfect. Uh, I don't see an orb in there with him. Sorry, what was that? I said I didn't see an orb in there with him. Well, the Silent Sisters didn't have the orb just sitting around. They had it in their pockets. Fair enough. Uh, uh, they probably, he probably has that. Well, I'm going to actually I'm gonna switch to my net gun. Get ready to fire that. All right, so we want to just jump him? Yeah, I think so. He doesn't seem to be paying attention right now. Let's do it. Okay, so does anyone want to reroll initiative? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <fine. laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I am staying Watch pet. I'm gonna get fucked over by this decision, but... Uh... Ah, 
Oh, it's worse. <laughs> I'll die now. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, are you kicking the door down and rushing in, or are you gonna basically shoot from the doorway? Oh, I'm uh, shooting from the doorway. That's an odd if you are like up on the ceiling. Uh, that's yeah. We... You. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, it's fine. Wait, let me check how mine sliver works. Because if if I was able to see him, can I still just target him? Yeah, you drive a disorienting spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range. Mm -hmm. So since it's not like you know, the cre the people doesn't need to be big enough for a projectile. Can I use mind sliver at least? Sure. Okay. We'll just tap into his brain and say hi. We'd like to get your key, please. Mind sliver. Intelligent saving throw, please. Okay. Uh... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seven psychic. Plus penalties. Okay. Elden? Elden, uh, net gun. Aim in net gun. Um. <laughs> oh. Uh. uh you, still no. You Why? Miss. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got fine. Okay. Okay. So. Interesting. Hits. Oh. And actually, it's gonna use a key to shoot more. Hmm. Okay, last one misses. Um, let's see, I can math. Uh, oh, that's just 30. Does it need to do the deck save? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Alright, Nightshade. Guns! Uh, with guns. I'm uh, gonna shoot three times. Uno dos. Fuck. Trist! Uh, no. Boy! Okay, miss. Uh, okay. Uh, the other two hit, though. Pew 12 and pew 20. Okay. So all this has been happening, most of you have actually managed to hit with various things and, you know, he seems to be doing something. And he didn't, he almost like he'd, he didn't react to being shot. Um, uh -oh. but then he sort of like stands up slowly oh, and fuck. turns around and faces you and says, well then, let's have some real fun. <laughs> He speaks basic. And charging. <laughs> ah! Right at the Penguin, no. Oh, uncanny dodge. Okay, 17. Oh, doesn't even hit. 27. Does hit. Uh, 18 damage. All right. Uncanny dodge that. Okay, so that's 9 damage. Okay, Myriad. Okay, uh, first attack, I am going to cast a uh, Guiding Bolt at level 2. Ooh! Okay. 15? Mm -hmm. uh, is that damage right for level 2? Uh, no, I don't know how to change the levels. Okay. I, I was just going to roll another d6 or however okay. much. Well, it actually does hit. Oof. Oh god. These fucking D6 rolls are awful. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, 15 damage. And then, um, oh yeah, and then he is now marked, so everybody has advantage to hit him. Until my next one. Yeah. Okay, and that was radiant damage? Yes. Okay. All right. Anna. Okay. Anna will just. Mm, yeah. Anna will use the dissonant whispers to just say, uh, stop attacking us. You can walk back. And it must make a wisdom saving throw. Mm, well, okay. Okay, so it's going to take the damage, but it's not going to follow those instructions. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So it is just 11 psychic damage. Yeah. Okay, Elden, it is right in front of you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do going to disengage. Where are we at? Um, where the f around the map? Thank you. I don't know where you're looking. But... I got it, okay. <laughs> we can triangulate the position. Alright, back, and then, um... Um... So... I think as a disengage is a bonus action, moving action. So then, uh, I'm just going to fire normally. Oh, ah, nice. Damn. And oh, actually, you get advantage because of the what's it, right? Yeah, guiding ball, you have advantage. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Oh, damn. cool. Oh, too bad that 23 wasn't the first damage. That's really good sneak attack. Uh, but still, you still do 48 damage. <laughs> God God damn. So wow. For a hit, I thought I wasn't going to do anything. Okay. Zal is also going to start backing up. Um, and it's gonna shoot. Okay, first one hits for six damage. Okay. And Wait, the second one hits too. Oh, yeah. Dad and Bolt. Okay. Yeah, she has advantage. Nine. Okay. Okay, that's better. Hmm. Yeah. Screw it. Flurry of blows. Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, nice. Okay, so that's 12, 14, 26 damage. Wait. Ooh. Yeah, and then. Okay, it, yeah, it's not on fire. Hmm. Okay, Nightshade. I'm gonna back up a little while, and it ain't five, damn, fifteen, twenty, behind Helen, and I'm gonna shoot it with my guns. That's Nereid's. I don't want Nereid's character sheet. I want Nightshade's character sheet. <laughs> With advantage, no. We'll see where that gets. It's probably nowhere. 24! Or right, 26. And a 26. Oh, fuck, wrong one. And a 23! 25. Uh, yeah, 25! That all hits. Yeah! Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Literally, like beneath max damage. Okay. 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 That's it. That's um, it. Yeah. Managed to push his way through the door. Don't worry about the geometry here. It's fine. Uh, and is going to attack the closest one, which is Nereid. Oh, hooray! Twenty-seven. Yeah, that hits. Thirteen damage. 
Ow. Ooh. Natural one! Hit yourself. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bye! God damn it. Nope. <laughs> it hurt itself and it's confusion. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, near <laughs> Uh, period. Do I want to try again? I really like the advantage, but I need my spells. You know what? Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit it with the guiding bolt at third level this time. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This would mm -hmm. still have advantage, right? Uh, yes, because it's still the end of my next turn. Oh, I'm an idiot. Last time, because I get two attacks, so last time I didn't, uh, I hit it with Guiding Bolt once, but I didn't do my spear. Oh, well, whatever. Well, you're, if it's a spell, you only do one. Well, I thought it was if it's an attack spell. I don't think so. Okay, whatever. Well, you okay, that's much better. 23. Ooh, that, and that's then... almost max. Okay. That's, oh! that's six, five, Yeah, five, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Shitty extra 2d6 damage, but whatever. So, 26 damage total. Okay, so mm. you shoot it with this burst of energy, and it's looking very poor. On a... Mm -hmm. well, maybe we need to get a job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Anna is gonna squeeze its wee brain a little bit further. Continue on with the intelligence saving throw, sir. <laughs> That's right. Take the eight psychic. And with that, he collapses. Oh, oh. Hooray. Wow, that brain was smaller than I expected, that given the rest of his body. Ridiculous rolls. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> I fucking love Guiding Bolt. It's my favorite Yes. Spot. When it hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, that said, how it falls, it falls like right in the doorway. So. <laughs> oh, Ew. wonderful. Well, Anna's still upside down on the ceiling. Eldon's going to go rummage through his pockets. Okay. Um, make an investigation. Oh, you did. 22. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Also roll a D D two hundred and fifty. Oh. Thirty seven. Uh oh. Elton finds the mystery of life. Yeah, really. <laughs> Makes that sound, you know it's gonna be something stupid. I'm not open. giving you that power, fucking hell. It okay. Was. No, uh, fuck. <laughs> no, fuck it, off. When I tell you why, you will understand why. I will give you half of the power. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, first of all, you find a red orb. Yeah. Yeah, a red orb. Second of all, you find a. It's actually kind of surprising that this guy is holding it. It's on his person, um, because it's way too small for him. But you find, um, a small, like, dagger that actually seems kind of perfect for your size. It looks very fancy. Oh. Ooh, cool. Upon examining this weapon, can I determine what it does? Um, mm, I guess Arcana check. Okay. Okay. Um, 18. 
Yes, so this is... Uh, here, I know, I know, hold on. I know what to do for this. Uh, wait, I need to get this thing. Okay, so first of all, uh, it is like, you know, it's a dagger. So if you were to try to attack with it, it would be actually I'll say it's a I'll say it's one d six, piercing damage. Um, okay. So not great, but you know there's something. Um, mm -hmm. However, uh, if you want to attack with this, it's a it's it's a plus one to both attack and damage rolls. Okay. So if you want to put that in, that would be yeah whatever that would be. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, so. So what you rolled was so what you ended up rolling was the luck blade. Um, oh, okay. There's two aspects to this. Well, okay, there's that aspect, then there's two things. I'm gonna give you one of them. The first aspect is while the sword is on your person, you can call on its luck, no action required, to re-roll one attack roll, ability check, or saving throw you dislike. You must use the second roll. This property can't be used again until the next dawn. Mm. I like it. The ability that I'm not giving you. <laughs> Is this, uh -huh. The sword has 1d4 minus 1 charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend 1 charge and cast Wish. <laughs> oh, God! I'm not giving you that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not I sure what Wish is. We won the campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it says... Bye, Scooter Queen. Yeah, so... <laughs> that's why... Yeah, so I'm uh, sorry. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the 1 free reroll per day. Uh, that's plenty. Okay. Damn. Maybe very late in season two we could do think about an upgrade at some point. But okay. not right now. Um yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's blocking the way down uh into the rest of that room. Is he though? Is he literally ten feet tall while being a corpse? Well, okay, fine. You can try to I guess you can walk up the Well the thing is that's a tower. So, oh, wait, okay. <laughs> I mean, you How can sort of like walk is... along, like the you can kind of go along like the wall around the door frame. Yeah, I guess. So, like, yeah, because otherwise you would just like fall up for a while. <laughs> <So>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So Anna's, uh, I guess, perpendicular to the wall. Yeah. Um. It seems like again, like you like you said, it seemed almost like a, kind of strange, like a meditation room. Um, mm. There's not really much else going on around around here. Any sort of material that you could think you could get. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a door to the southeast corner, though. And how tall is this door? Same kind of door as the okay. Uh, he's in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It doesn't seem to be too much other than this other route to get out. But we have everything that we need, I think. We have the three orbs, and we know exactly where the elevator shaft is. Okay. So, is there anything more we need? Um, can everyone make a perception check? All right. We're gonna perceive some things and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bada's really good at seeing today. Ah, Can I roll with advantage? Yes. Sweet! <laughs> you still get a nine. <laughs> Eight. No. Um, so much. Yeah, so. Yeah, the rest of you are kind of, I guess, focusing on the body of this guy. Um, Anna, you, as you wander around the the, uh, the wall, uh, <laughs> you're moving around the wall. Yeah. You know, as as you as you be. Um, you know, seeing what kind of might show up. Um, oops. And as you get toward the door here. Um, you actually think you can hear you hear a couple things on the other side. You hear what sounds mm. like sort of a shuffling and almost like a chewing noise. Um, Ew. But you also think you can very, very 
faintly hear what might be Vesper's voice. Hmm. Chewing noise. Wait, okay, does this chewing noise sound anything like, I guess, the maw of one of those worm ears? Yes. Okay. Well, Anna will just say, okay, it seems like the fight is on the other side of this wall, you know, potentially between worm ears and Vesper. Wait, I don't hold on, let oh. me rephrase that. It's oh. it's it's faint enough where you can you can you can hear a voice, but it doesn't sound like it's from the next room, or like it it, it if if, if a, it does not sound like a person is standing in the next room talking. Mm. But it seems like you can hear it from this room, this next room. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, so Anna says what she hears. Um, she will say, like, I mean, Vesper told us, you know, they're the distraction, and, like, our objective is to have the orbs and then go up to the elevator shaft. We have the orbs. Anna's, like, talking to the rest of the party right now. That he did. That he did. Like, yeah, Anna will say, like, part of me is kind of curious what happens to Vesper, but at the same time, like, we do have our main mission. You want my honest opinion? Yeah, of course. Yes. You're part of the crew, too. He's doing his job so we can do ours. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I agree with that. Well, let's see. Saul's gonna sort of see like if she can kind of perceive through this door. Ooh, okay. Um, and she sees basically through a crack in the door and said, uh, "Pretty big room over there. There's, I think, some bodies." Mm-hmm. Mm, there's, a, there's a worm ear moving around, actually eating one of the bodies. Actually, I think uh -oh. there's two of them, but... Besides those things, there's nothing actively danger. Wait a minute. I think one of those bodies is... One of the men, the soldiers who is with Vesper. Oh, well, in that case, Alden Cox his rifle. We should go in and help. I think there's a chance he could still be alive. Uh, uh, if Vesper's in there, then at least he's alive. No, I don't think it's Vesper, but I don't know. Look, if if, if there is any danger in there, it's just Wormer, so... Should we at least figure out what's going on? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. I guess here. Run in. There's. I think there's one just straight south of here. So run forward and shoot at that one. Okay. Okay. All right. So she's going to sort of run in and shoot. Okay. Hold on one second. Wait, where'd Zal go? Hold on. Zal went into the room, I think. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, oh, done. Okay. Slow. Gonna follow after. Okay. I'm gonna reveal this. So she runs in, 
and she shoots and hits uh, this Wormir down here um, that is seemingly sort of feasting on a body. Um, there is a, there is that Scutum soldier who was kind of propped up against kind of in the door frame uh, that you saw over here. There's also a Wormir body that's right here in the middle. Um, and there is another Wormir that is seemingly kind of biting at well, it was biting at this body over at this side um, mm. that seems to be one of Vesper's men, though you can't really... The body doesn't seem to be moving. That said, mm. he sort of smushed up against a door that seems as if it's been, like... Like, not only was it blown apart, but as if someone, like, collapsed the other side of it. Oh. Ooh. Is he saying anything? Uh, you can't tell at the moment. Mm. So Zal runs in shooting the, well, the red dot one here that's uh, where we're this straight south is and says, come on, we can take these guys. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know about that, but Elden will follow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess here, Anna, are you following or no? Yeah. Well, okay. What's the height of this room, though? Uh, I'll say it's like twenty feet. Okay. So, so Anna's the hallway. there. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Let's. Sorry, blue dot is feasting on the green dot. Scutum. It seems they were both sort of eating the, just trying to like eat the bodies, but then now that it's all burst in, they're like hurt. Okay, but, like, the green dot is the one that is more clearly someone that we recognize. Yes. Okay, so Anna will mind sliver the blue dot for me. Okay. Hulk, Hulk. We're going to need an intelligence saving throw. Ooh. Wow, fuck you. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, Elden... Aim and shoot at the blue dot. Here, I'm gonna move you into the room. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Only yes, 24 damage. Uh, 21. Yep. 21, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if so I was gonna shoot again, and I guess, yeah, she'll now sort of switch her aim to the blue dot one. And. Is that a miss? That first one's a miss. Ooh. Only six damage. <laughs> okay. Nightshade, you coming in? Might as well. I'm paid to kill. Yeah, and we room. got easy targets, shoot the too. Blue one. Yeah. Okay. Shoot the blue one. If I can get my character shot, I need to keep this damn thing open. I like resize. Pew, pew. I basically just resize Rock. it to shove it into the pew. corner. Yeah, I probably should do that. Uh, okay. Only the last one hits. And... <laughs> For six damage. Uh... Here, roll damage for the... 12 damage. <laughs> Why would you do a high damage roll? Okay, uh, <laughs> you shoot Zal. Oh, god Max damn it. Damage. Okay. Uh, Neary coming in? Yep. I just barely noticed that Anna's token is upside down. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, I'm gonna hit Red Dot with my spear. Ooh, 27. That, that definitely hits. Okay, so for 17 damage. And then... Soft 20. For 14 damage. Yep. Yeah, for 14. Okay. Alright, both hit. Uh, they're both still up, but both damage. Um, oh, I didn't even... Well, whatever. I didn't reroll their initiative, but I'll just keep it there. Um, okay, so they have...
Actually, it's going to go here. Okay. Um. Oof. Okay. Uh, that's lucky. Oh, no. Uh, so the red one's not going to do anything. The blue one is mm -hmm. going to try to bite Zol and miss. Oh! Okay, uh, that's their turn. Anna? Okay, yeah. Mind Sliver, Blue Dot, let's go. Give me that insu. Crush its brain! Uh -huh. <laughs> it passes just barely. So, nothing happened. How rude. Okay, Elden. Elden is going to uh, aim and fire at Blue Dot. Bill. Oh, that's a miss. Although, you do have something that could cut, let you re-roll once per day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Let's do that. Mm. You still did. Wow. Oh, wait, with aiming? No, you do hit. Okay. Yeah. And you were hitting Blue Dot? Yep, Blue Dot. Okay. Still up. Okay. Zal is going to... Uh... Yeah, Zal's not doing so well. Uh, Zal is going to spend a key to disengage. Step for the win, girl. And then wait, what's her speed? Really high, okay. Yeah, fast. <laughs> there. Um, and then shoot at... Uh, I guess blue dot. Fuck. Girl! Okay. Five. Blah. Okay, nightshade. Okay, we're gonna try again. The guns, a blue dot. Or blue it dot is. It's not dead. No, it's not no. dead. It's alive. Blue dot! Pistol misses, others hit. Two, eight, mm. and five. Why, why can't why, why can't I get that damage when I'm hitting Zol? <laughs> <laughs> you only get okay. double digits against your compatriots. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a it's a sign. I'm, I'm <laughs> meant to attack you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Nereid's turn. Oh my, if Blue Dot survives literally all of our attacks, then... Uh, okay. Uh, first spear attack on Blue Dot. Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh my god! Yeah, it's a miss. <laughs> yes, obviously. Okay, Ooh, that's okay. better. And the and... damage is even better, so. 19. And it's dead. Ooh! Thank <laughs> the lord. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it still... didn't die after five of us targeted it again. <laughs> yes. Well, the one that's alive, though, is going to come up and... Oh, no. Ew, the disgusting spray thing. Poison breath. Okay, this is I have a question. Yes. Okay, what do I have you're, to up a, you're up on a 20-foot ceiling, so this would therefore not hit you. <laughs> yeah, if I was more than five feet tall, then it would, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, con save. Hooray! El Elden, Nereid, love... and uh, Nightshade. Constitution okay. saves, I'm so bad at those. My one. Yeah, I'm really bad at those! Mm. Nereid, you shouldn't be bad at those. Well, Orin Jesus says I'm bad at them, so... Okay. Um, no. So, Nightshade, take 10 damage. Um, Nereid and Elden take 21 damage. Ow! Ew. 10, you say? Yes. Yep. Okay. 
But anyway, there's nothing I can end Kenny Dodger now. I think so. Let me check. Uh, why isn't it loading? Because it's dumb. All I see here is if it hits you with an attack. Okay, so, yeah, on Kenny Dodge. So, I guess that would work. Mm -hmm. Do you count spells as attacks in that situation? Uh... I mean, since if it doesn't, like, specifically say melee, then I guess it would just be any attack. Yeah. Yeah? That's what it seems like. Okay, then yeah, sure. <laughs> Also, wait, do you have evasion? Is that a thing? Yeah, I thought evasion was like that's the AOE dex, one. That's for dex saves, not for... Oh, uh, uh, you're right. Never mind. Right. That's constitution. I just assume that a poison breath, like, you could just dodge a yeah, being dex yeah, saves, but whatever. It's a con thing, so... Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, well, you still get the, uh... Yes, yeah, so you take 10 damage then. Elden. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Ana, you, you see the poison, basically slowly just drift right below your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we will tiptoe on this side. Three, four, five, six. And then we just need to like, can this actually hit please? Mind sliver. Why are their brains so like, so large? I don't know. I find it, so I find it hilarious that actually compared to the bruisers and the normal soldiers, the warriors have higher intelligence. Yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> Which actually was not positive. The original plan, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, this time we're finally able to pinch a nerve, mm -hmm. dealing nine psychic plus consequences. Uh, the warriors are based off of like like a young dragon or something, stat wise. Mm -hmm. Some, it's something like that. Fair. So that's why its intelligence is not terrible. Yeah. And that will be on his turn. Okay, Elden. All right, aim and fire. The weird mirror thing, or the poison thing—they just poisoned us. Yeah, All right. uh, that's that. Yeah, that hits and actually, that's actually not mm -hmm. uh, twenty. Yeah, um, yeah, twenty-two damage. That's enough to kill it. Doesn't quit. Or twenty-three. Goodbye. No shit, twenty-two. Doesn't matter. Kills it anyway. <laughs> oh, cool. Awesome. All right, so which one needed help? This one, right? Yeah. Are you still just on the wall? <laughs> on the ceiling, but okay. yes. Later, later on. Um, <laughs> keep in mind, you're like 20 feet up, so... <laughs> Anna just points down. I think this is the one. Um, yeah, so this all sort of kind of comes over and sort of looks at it and... Mm. Uh, I think he's dead. But mm. <laughs> wait, what's this? And I heard she, a voice. Yeah, and she pick is all picks up this thing. It almost it looks like a credit card. Like that's like the size of it, but it Ooh. it looks like it's made of wood. And you see, it, it almost looks like there's like a sort of like a spider web of like nerves like embedded into it. Wait, in the in a in credit the, card in was the, like in the pocket of this guy? It's it's like on the floor like next to him basically. Oh. What is this thing? Um not sure, but that uh web like structure on it reminds me of uh the elevator shaft room. There was something on the very like there was one wall that had a similar type of pattern. True. I don't think this would be a, like a key for that though. That seems that wouldn't really make any sense. Maybe it's some sort of weird kind of electronics. And as 
Zal sort of says that. She sort of all immediately sort of kind of looks startled for a moment and is just kind of like staring off at nothing for a second and then goes, Well, that's weird. Uh, did you huh? her? Wait, what? She sort of says, Zal. Uh, Vesper? And is just kind of standing there as if, like, not kind of looking at any kind of looking around for a few seconds. Who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> uh, Zal sort of, like, reaches over, grabs Nightshade, grabs your hand, and sort of places your hand on this card thing that she's also holding. And right oh. when that happens, you can immediately hear Vesper's voice in your head. Whoa. And saying, What you're doing here? Is is man okay? No, does not matter. He knew what he was doing when he was there. Do you have orbs? We have all the orbs, yeah. Good. They reckon we should check up what's happening here. Aren't your man dead? But we got the orbs, all right. Yes, it is unfortunate, but it was... Pushev knew that it was likely he would die in that room to seal us away. We are in courtyard now. We are still fighting. There are... You keep doing your... Th oh, go on, go on, go on. There are... Honestly, less soldiers than I expected. Maybe they're starting to return to you. Or maybe something else happening. I don't know. But go, quickly. Keep... You keep, keep doing your thing. We'll kill the son of a bitch. Keep this... Keep this chip just in case I need to contact you. But... Do not do so unless until job is done. You have your you have a word. See you on the other side. Well, uh, I don't want to say what was what's going on down there. Whole lot of hell they're causing. I'm gonna pass the chip to whoever wants it. I guess my chip's not gonna want it. <laughs> Hang on. Roll 1d3. Why not? Nereid gets it! Hooray! Uh, Nightshade's gonna take the chip and toss it over to Nereid. Says to contact him, but not before the business is done. They fear that someone's gonna be... Uh, they say that they're not much soldiers that they were expecting. And I don't have to tell you all that's not a good thing. Chances are they, they know we're here. They clearly know we're here. So chances are there's some reinforcements our way. So let's get this shit over and done with. We got the orbs. We got our mission. Let's go put this queen in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, let's make haste. We know where the elevator is. And we got everything we need. The first healing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you have any potions? Yeah, I have a ton of them. I, oh, I okay, like four okay. of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you... actually, let me heal up because that shit yeah. fucking hurted. Okay. Uh. Okay. I have. Two. I was like, do you want Anna to pour some from twenty feet above you, and you can waterfall it, or? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> No, because Val's gonna make us roll like a sleight of hand or <laughs> it misses oh, and lands on the worm here. Oh <laughs> god damn it! I'm such an idiot. Uh, what's like the the um, healing pots that we have? Like, what's the the best the one? one? The supreme is ten d four plus twenty. Oh, uh, the one below that one. Eight d four plus eight. Okay, is the superior. Twenty seven health. Get in my belly. <laughs> 20... I, I can't math. 58 plus 27. That's that's uh, a lot 80. of health. That's 85. Okay, yeah, I think that's yeah. 85. Okay, good math. I can, I can math. Oh, God, sorry. Oh! Wait, it's... You, rolled a three, you did 3D. Oh, I rolled 3D4. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. That's Holy still God. pretty shit, but okay. Well, it's not actually not 
awful, but... No, that's not bad. Okay, uh, Zal's also going to heal. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Zal is up to full. I know this isn't a short rest, but can we use our hit die? Uh, let me just say you will have an opportunity to do so. Okay, <laughs> Julio. Let's uh, head over to the elevator. In fact, actually, let's use this moment to take a little break. Yeah. Break! Okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, so sorry if this kind of last moment here felt kind of railroady. Um, I just, like, I realized that I forgot to have Vesper give you a way of contacting him earlier. And so I was like, shit, I need to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> if it seemed I like guess I just assumed I was like, um, when we, when we leave, I guess we were just going to leave Vesper out to dry. So, well, the reason why I meant to do it, um you know, last time before he basically, you know, took off. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, so originally I planned to, like, have him kind of tell a bit of a story as well as give you the thing, but I was like, eh, it feels like the pacing of it would be weird. So I just was like, I won't do it. But then because mm -hmm. I didn't do it, I didn't tell the story, and then I was like, oh, I just didn't give the thing either, so. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, well. I actually thought that card was going to unlock the door in the elevator room. To the west. When you described it. Oh. Well, I mean, the idea was it was that, like... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense when you would say that. But, like, I, you know, it wouldn't make sense that, like, they would have... The, the whole thing was, like, hey, get the orbs to get in instead of, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Or I wasn't sure if there was, like, a, a secret room, like, secret compartment on the western mm -hmm. side. Because we, when we first entered it, we are like, okay, I guess we're not going through that way. But yeah, I guess internally in my mind, I was like, uh, when we were in the tunnel before we even came into this complex, mm -hmm. I just assumed Vesper was like sacrificing himself, like he knew he was going to die or whatever, and then we would do our thing and we would just, you know, leave without him. I, uh, rest in peace, says, I guess. I mean, he's not dead yet. Yeah. As far as you know. <laughs> as far as, as you know. Goes. Oh. <laughs> Why'd I make that noise? <laughs> because that's an appropriate noise. Insert Drifloon's cry. Dilla, 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 da. Well, they're just the Drifloon's like... It's always so funny when you just hear about in the distance, but... Because they're fucking everywhere. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. You're good. It's okay. My thing was off topic, so whatever. Okay. Cool. Uh, Alright, so, everyone ready? Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, okay, let's see. I believe Elden has all three orbs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you just want to basically go back the way you came? Uh, yeah, no reason to go any other way, or, yeah. Yeah, and uh, from what it sounds like, the courtyard fight is, like, actively happening, so while we still have the time, we should mm -hmm. get over there. And the possibility of reinforcements coming to hunt us now, I mean, not that they haven't already, but, like, Mm. More reinforcements. Yeah. We're on time crunch. Basically, mm. let's go kill this queen. The damn queen of the bugs. A murderer with guns for funds. Let's just get all of this. Let's get all and money. <laughs> yes. And money. We're gonna murder with money. Okay. Murder with money. Yay. Murder for money. Uh, Good times. Zal's gonna kind of like push this body out of the way and head through this door. <laughs> oh. Um. I will say this door and then to the south of Zal is also open, so I'll just sort of reveal this because mm -hmm. why not? Do you plan to walk in ground level like the rest of us? 
No. Why? Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I mean, if necessary, I won't always go on the ceiling. She points to the tower that we just came from. But it's a little bit safer up here, wouldn't you say? Anna's just like, why would I walk like a plebeian? <laughs> he would say plebeian. Um, let's see. So yeah, to the room to the south, you can see that there is another door and there is another uh, soldier body kind of against that door. Okay. Which way? I mean, I feel like... Wait, sorry, what were you going to say? Zal was just asking which way. Oh, um, the way that we, which is, you know, in the upper right. Okay. Northeast. You're coming too, you two penguin. <laughs> penguin? Yeah, I couldn't find my icon person. Oh, she's all the way down there. Okay, we're moving down there, I yeah, guess. We're moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, making haste is what you said, right? Yeah. I did. A one was 45 speed, so keep up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why am I moving everybody? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it works. Appreciate it. Wait, I forgot Anna. <laughs> I'm good. I can handle myself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Fucking Zal! <laughs> Wait, uh, oh yeah, okay. Through the room with the Silent Sisters. Ha, we beat you! <laughs> Not from my perspective. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. It stops okay. to point and laugh. Just like, ha, bitch! Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bitch. Anyway, as Elden steps through this door, uh, you see the these three orbs on the north wall, the blue one, which had glowed previously, starts to glow again. The one on the right starts to glow green. And the one on the left starts to glow red. All right, I shall put the red orb in the red spot, the green orb in the green spot, and the uh, blue orb well in... There's not, they're not spots, it's like, it's like other orbs that are there that are now sort of seemingly like uh, responding to the glow that, uh, your, that's happening. Okay. And once all three start to glow for a bit, there's sort of like a half a second pause, and then this sort of, yeah, the nerves that seem to be sort of extending over this door in front of you seem to sort of have a kind of a pulse of energy through them, and then the door slides away. Oh boy. All right. I was gonna look at everybody mm. else. We're this is go. it. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is all sort of step forward. I think. Seems like there's another. There's one more room though. Right. Also, yeah. Like, wait, is this <laughs> hallway really cramped in comparison to the rest? It's pretty. It's not super cramped, but it's like it's okay. relatively tight. Hmm. But it's perception, what's in the uh, uh, coming room, 20. Okay, I only get to 20. Okay, perception. That fails. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Okay, 15. Where the hell is my character hey, sheet? God damn. Okay, I'm not gonna get Well, any. you're not Sudoku and you're not Myriad, so. Okay. 16, not too bad. Uh, none of you hear anything. Um, actually, well, none of you hear, like, people. Um, Elden and Myriad, you think you can very faintly maybe hear the sound of, like, water? Huh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um. my favorite. But it's, it's a very quiet sound if you can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, Elden will say very quietly, I hear the sound of quiet water. Maybe just a little bit. Let's see. All right, water. stealth towards it. Well, there's a door, so. Okay. Stealthily open the door. <laughs> Stealthily open okay. the door, yep. Okay. Um... All 
right, so as you sort of quietly open this door... You see... Um, you see kind of in the north end of this room, there is a actually a statue of the queen. And below Ew. it is this sort of kind of small little kind of fountain structure that has a gold colored liquid flowing out of it. And when I say gold colored liquid, I mean it does, I'm not saying it looks like paste. It doesn't look like paste. <laughs> Oh, okay. Didn't even think of I that. Mean, okay. My first reaction was honey, but it looks more like honey than piss. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, literally, my first you thought was thought... not piss. I'm sorry. Is it like water, or is it like like kind of like molten gold, where it's, it's... like where more it's thick, thicker? It's flowing. It's more like water. Okay. Okay, so just what is very this? very thin honey, so maple syrup, mm. but like lighter. Yeah. It's all sort of okay. comes over toward it and sort of like sniffs it. it. Smells good. Oh. Don't oh, eat it. Is this the what Queen's Queen's private drink collection? I'll go up and sniff it. Or I'm gonna go up and sniff it. Okay. So I can tell um, what it is. Hmm. Pull a medicine check. Yeah. Actually, yeah, anyone can roll medicine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not that I'm good at it, but I'll roll it anyway. I'll roll it anyway, too, because I'm not shade. I'm not good at it. I'm going to do it. 19. No, no, that's like oh, so 20. It actually didn't realize I had Ooh. stuff in medicine. Cool. Okay, so Neria gets the 20. Here, I'll just move everyone over here. Um, so yeah, uh, Neria, you are actually the only one to recognize this. Neria, you recognize this as being a... Um, it's actually, so I guess maybe you've seen the process of creating health spray or something, but this is sort of like the raw, sort of like actual liquid component of like a health spray that hmm. is not only safe to drink, but it is also very revitalizing. Hmm. Guys. Guys. Literal fountain of health. Wow. So Noodles. I, I, that is awesome. So I'm going to treat Wait. this basically as, like, your short rest. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, it's, but it's only short rest, okay. I, in terms of spell slots, I will... Uh, wait, Aaron, what's the wizard thing for getting, like, spell slots for a short rest? Arcane Recovery has... Yeah, how does that work? Half your wizard level of spell slots rounded up. So for level, uh, nine, basically, I have five levels worth of spell slots mm -hmm. to get back. You can basically get, like, one level five, one level four, or, well, uh, three level threes. Uh... No, no, it's more like combined level is equal to or less to half your wizard level. Yeah, half your wizard level, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I will say, Myriad, you can get... Because how many spell slots do you have, like, in total? Like, how many would you uh, have in total? I have, like, six in total. So three ones, two twos, and one three. Let's see. Cleric at level three. Uh, you should have four first level and two second level. Oh, so I was reading the wrong level. Um, I... I'll let you recover half. So two level one and one level two. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, so if anyone wants to, again, any sort of other short rest stuff that comes back, you get that as well. All right, hit die, let's go. I'm good. Good! Oh, yes! Fucking action surge and everything. Yay. Yes. Hit die! Oh, fuck. Hit die! I mean, do we have to roll hit die if we're drinking out of the fountain? Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Damage. Fountain of Youth! <laughs> yeah! That would be a max! How old are you, Nightshade? <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> Being a little cryptic, aren't we? About as old as Hollow Swift is. Mm -hmm. Remember, he and I go back a while. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Use three of these. I have a problem, guys. I open up my trash can, and I, st I actually like... A ton of monster cans, and I'm adding another one. Okay, I have a problem. One, two. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say you oh, like you you open up your trash can and something came up and attacked you. Oh, oh then I would have a real problem. <laughs> That'd be disgusting. Ah, uh, yes, it would be. Thankfully, that's not the case. Heal up some more because I expect this thing to hit like a truck. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. we might as well use as many hit die as you need. All right, so 23 Okay, I'm set. Okay, um... Okay, I'm also good. Zal will turn to Nereid and say, You still got that tracker, right? Yep. She's actually still up there? Uh, I look at the tracker. Is she still there? Seems like she's still there. Yep, looks like it. And to the west side of this room, um, there is a massive sort of set of doors, and there is a lever next Ooh. to them. Alright, well. Are we ready? Oh, the Alrighty. lever, crunk! A <laughs> one way ticket to the throne room. Let's do it. Right, yeah, let's go the, uh, oh, here it goes to the right lever. Okay. Melvin's so, going to pull the lever. As the lever gets pulled, the doors slide away, and it, you can see a pretty large platform. Well, it's not just a platform, it's like it's almost like an entire room that uh, seems to sort of be in, in front of you here. Um, however, you can see some machinery along the sides, and you can tell that this whole thing is, a, is one giant lift. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, let's get on that and go. Well, guess I have to be on the ground then. Damn shame now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, feels different. Feels bad, man. <laughs> you know, the blood's now actually, you know, where it's supposed to be. <laughs> well, fortunately, my hair has maintained its shape. Somehow. <laughs> it defies gravity. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we ready for this? Yep. Let's do this. Game to kill the queen. Let's go kill that queen. Let's make history. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, how much time is everyone willing to have? left in the session. Oh. Uh, I think I'm uh, good for another maybe like hour, hour and a half. I can't do too long because of work tomorrow. Um, so, like, if there's a battle, I don't think I could do that, but if there's, like, some setup before or something. Mm. 
that could be okay. Okay, okay. Then we will have... Yeah, okay. I know what to do. Okay. Uh, is everyone actually going to get on the, the lift? Yes. We're going on <laughs> It's the literally lift. just all in our giant rocket <laughs> ship. Go on, you go do penguin. Elders mm -hmm. in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the idea that he's like has like a pretty much a pet like you too, penguin. <laughs> yeah. Like like fucking Gunter from uh, Adventure Time. <laughs> That's just how a night shade rolls, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. With with you all stepping in, there's a lever on the inside. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Nira, are you pulling that? Yes. Okay. And with that, doors close behind you and it starts heading upward. Ooh. Any comments anyone wants to make? I'm kind of afraid ah. of talking because I feel like something, some shit's gonna be wacky. <laughs> I never thought I'd be an assassin for the Empire. I just wanted to fly ships and travel, but uh, I guess when you're called to service... Well, look at it this way. Yeah. They'll have to give you the biggest ship in the lot just to pay you for what you're about to do. I, uh, I hope so. That would be awesome. His eyes yeah. glaze over for a moment about like imagining his like dream ship. Or, you know, you'll end up with your name on the side of one. The RSS Elven. Too. Yeah. I just sell for a ship now. Hmm. <sighs> well. What's the plan? As soon as the door is open, we just shoot immediately or what? Perhaps some of us should use the, um, should use the things that you found on the bodies, the ones that potentially could give us invisibility, could give us a yeah. leg up. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the thing for invisibility, but it fades right as you do your first attack, but it would be really good for us to come in. I have, I have a blur, a blur device left and an invisibility device left. Does anybody want either one of those? I like to keep one. Uh, well, we each clearly... we each have an invisibility, I think, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we go. And I got myself a blur device. And mm. uh... now yeah, let's see that then. Start with invisibility. Yeah, because at the very least, I mean, we can definitely take them off guard if it's more than just the queen herself. Well, they might not. They might not expect, when they see one walking through the door, that there's actually going to be five of us. <laughs> so that's just the thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, shoot. Dang it, why did I not write down the actual name of the thing? Uh, the invisibility thing. Like, what was the actual name of it? Yeah, I forget if it was, like, a... a ring, or... It might it might have been, like, a device similar to the Blur device. Yeah, no, that's what I flavored it as, but what did I... What was the actual thing, though? Um... It's really stupid. Because there was a thing about it. Mm. Oh, is this it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is it. Um, okay, so is everyone going to activate these things? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Roll uh, a 2d4. <laughs> wow, um, 2d4. Hey. Uh, 2d4, Valen? Yes. 2d4. 2d4. Six. Alright, six. All Seven. Right, there I go. Four. Okay, it was all five. 
Okay, that's how many minutes you'll be invisible. Oh. oh. Interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, so mark that somewhere. Uh, okay, invisibility, six minutes. Okay. As the lift approaches higher, it slows to a stop in front of two massive doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, on this map, they kind of look, it looks like a spike pit. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, uh, I guess I'll be asking these, this more often from now on, but what's the height of these doors? Um, like I mean, you're still on the lift, presumably. So. Yeah. Oh wait, no, never mind. Well, it's they're they're like twenty feet. Actually, mm -hmm. no, they're fifteen feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any slits? Can we perceive? These doors are completely sealed. Okay. We're going to have to open them. Yeah. Well, there's no turning back now. Nope. Was there ever? Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> We're long past that point now. Yeah. Okay, Anna pushes the door open. Okay. The door creaks open. As a large door would. And in the next room, it's maybe not quite as big as you were expecting. Um, mm -hmm. It has, and it actually is not like super regal. Um, mm -hmm. There is what appears, you know, there is like a, th some, it, instead of like a throne, it almost looks like a desk with a chair behind it. Um, oh. And on the sides, there are, there's various sort of devices and materials. It was as if someone was like maybe doing some sort of like research in here or something. It almost looks like an office more than like a throne that you might expect. But Ooh. then the on so on the other side of the desk, which is a large desk, me the is sort of wit well it, yeah, it's it's windows that are overlooking out across you know the vast sort of courtyard and you see, can see out these windows with various other large, you know, tree, uh, sort of like tree grown buildings. And um, you can see some, even some kind of military barracks and stuff in the background. But in the chair, sort of again, facing away from you, you can see just her body well what else would you see of her <laughs> well i don't the, the the description made it sound like she's lifeless well i mean she's sitting i don't know <laughs> yeah does she swivel her chair around she does not we're invisible remember yeah i know Kanana, and what, the height of this is still 15 feet? Yes. And how tall is she again? Mm. Like eight-ish feet. Okay, yeah, Anna, I guess, will be on the ceiling then. Here, do you need to rotate? Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Very everyone, important. Everyone else, <laughs> everyone else stepping into the room. I mean, I fucking guess though. Yeah. I don't trust this at all. But... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no one enters the room. Okay. Um, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> 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 Anna from the ceiling and on the other side, like getting a flanking position, will just 
see, you know, like, what is she doing? Is everyone just looking, or is anyone, like, going up to, like, just do anything else? I think we're just looking right now, because okay. depending on what she's doing. Yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Perception, I ain't gonna perceive shit. Or Ooh. maybe I'll perceive all of the shit. <laughs> it finally works. <laughs> Anyway, I think my, I'm running out of reverse psychology tokens, I think. God damn, everyone has high perception. Okay. I need to. Oh, well, look at the, the lowest, and over. Yeah, when the lowest perception is a 17. Um, oh. Okay, so you all see that she doesn't seem to be moving at all. Um, mm. And Nightshade, you can actually see or actually, it's more of a you can kind of hear. It's as if, like, There's almost like a very sort of a sound as if something's like a very faint sound as if, you know, like, like when you, you know, when you kind of rub like your arm on yourself or whatever, you know, that kind of sound of like, you mm -hmm. know, skin feeling skin or whatever. But it sounds very dry. Mm. What's that noise? Oh. Or whispering, of course. Uh, <laughs> what's that noise? Zal is going to step close and reach her hand forward to sort of touch the tip of her wing and sort of looks, looks at all of you of like, uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Elvin uh, nods. And raises rifle to you know, like readying an action to fire into her face if she reacts hostily. Yeah, same. Same, except with the guns. As Zal touches the wing, it starts to crumble. Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean, oh fuck? They molt. Yeah, I figured. Well, they am. They have some bug fucks, so. Can't tell what's kind of a given. Wait, so she just left her multi skin thing in the. Uh, like in her desk chair? <laughs> Well, it certainly worked Whoa. to trap all of you. Mm. Oh. Are we invisible? From, yes. We're making a shitload of noise, you're, and you're we talking, broke her thing. And you're talking. Um, oh, we're not. We're talking. I'm not talking. <laughs> you're talking. What do you mean? You're talking. You see three Sorry. figures kind of fall from the ceiling. No. And they're not, like... When I say you kind of recognize, you recognize them vaguely, but not like that specific individual. Hmm. Of them. So, these you encountered one of these on the Scutum base on Kofaria. Uh. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Real quick question. So, when they fall from the ceiling, like. If Anna looks over there, were there holes or something in the ceiling? Or were they perched there the entire time? They... I forgot you're on the ceiling. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... I'll just be... I'll be kind of half-ass about it. I mean, I probably didn't, like, knock into them anyways, because I didn't take that I'll, path. I'll just say that they had, like, an invisibility thing on, but now they don't, because I don't know what else to okay. they can think. But anyway, yeah, yeah, as yeah. they drop down, also the door behind you toward the lift slams closed. Ooh! Of course. Bitch! We know <laughs> that you're here. 
We can't see you right now. Mm -hmm. But you're trapped. So, either surrender or die. Nice. Our queen knew that by going to your planet, you thought you would be able to track her. You did track her DNA right here. And now that we have that, have you you all here, and we have your planetary defense system codes, this war is over. So, what will you do? Mm -hmm. Well, gee, guys, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we'll just sit here and start a fucking knitting circle. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna, well, it's like... You know we're too stubborn or too stupid to just let you do what you want, right? Mm-hmm. And if you guys you have a planetary... keep us here? Come get it. Yeah. I like... Yeah, if you guys have our, real, our planetary defense codes, we can't really let you walk around with those. So notable was like so notable change of perspective. That door didn't lock on us being trapped in here with you. It locked on you being trapped in here with us. I like the way you think, young blood. Mm. Oh, did it? We shall see. Mm. And with that, we are I believe to end the okay. session. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, let's rumble, bitch. Oh, yeah, I was just gonna say the last line Otto was gonna say, I believe you are the ones that cannot see. <laughs> For now. Uh. <laughs> cool. But yeah. Cool. Uh yeah. <laughs> uh. This is why I asked how much time do you have? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Now I want to say yeah, fight good. though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'll just say right now, um, I was in order to continue with this. I would have wanted people to say like at least an hour. So uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but That's people fair. have adult jobs that they have to go to. I know. So. Unlike us, oh, yeah. unlike me, who has who's on spring break now. So woohoo! Did it just start? Yes. This uh, okay. I know. Oh. So hooray for me.